15 times. Uh, he's good, uh, and he's pitched good against us twice. And uh, just made it tough on us to, uh, to put much together. And then late in the game, they kept, uh, kind of kept adding runs on us. Uh, got a lot of two out hits. And, uh, you know, felt like we made it easy for them uh, by walking guys and hitting guys, and then they'd get a hit. Uh, but uh, all told, it was Virginia Tech's night. What makes right so tough for you guys to hit? I was pretty much predominantly left-hand hitting. And, uh, you know, he moves his fastball all over the place. I mean, we chased a lot of pitches out of the zone. I mean, if, if I go back and look at the video and look at the... 15 strikeouts, uh, I would say the majority of them were probably balls either up out of the strike zone, high fastballs, or curveballs in the dirt. Uh, so he's just a tough matchup for us. He's a good left-hand pitcher, competitive, moves the ball all over the place, and he's hard to kind of zero in on. And with as good as your guys' offense is, do you, do you typically struggle that much against lefties? Or? Well, we've beaten, I mean, I watched Pat Dean pitch very well out here uh, yesterday for Boston College, and we hammered him like... Uh, you know, like you'd never pitched before last weekend. So we've had our, our way with some lefties, but uh, we haven't done much with uh, Wright. He's pitched very good against us uh, both times this year. Hey, what's your assessment of Wright as a, as a connoisseur of fine pitching? What does he do that impresses you? Uh, you know, he locates and he didn't give, give up any free bases. I mean, uh, he kept the ball down, he kept the ball in the ballpark, and, and uh, you know, he didn't let people get on base. And, and so those, those two home runs we did hit didn't multiply anything. And, uh, you know, I mean, the guy just, he battles. And, and uh, you know, he's, he's a great pitcher. Heck, can you talk about your call for the two pitches that day? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, the first one wasn't a bad pitch. You know, I, I left it up maybe a little bit, but it was it was away. And, and Waits just a great hitter. And, uh, you know, he didn't miss many fastballs. And, he didn't miss that one, and then um, you know the one to the one to I think was Seaborn just hung a breaking ball with two strikes, um, and then just a bad pitch, and made me pay for it. Did having to wait as long to start did that negatively impact the team at all? I don't think so. You know, I mean it's a long time to wait to play a game, but uh, I don't really think so. I mean I thought we had. Uh, Real good practice here in the stadium on Tuesday. Thought we had a real good practice yesterday. The thing I liked, it gave Deck another day of rest, so it's more normal rest for him. And uh, so I, I don't think that had anything to do with the way we play. And um, given how well Justin pitched against you last time, uh, what was your message to the guys in terms of strategy, in terms of perhaps performing better against him this time? Well, I felt like we, we had to hit his fastball. You know, I felt like in Atlanta he gave us some fastballs to hit, and we didn't hit him. And, uh, and tonight, we didn't do a very good job of hitting it again, but we swung at a lot of bad pitches. I mean, we chased his high fastball uh, a lot, and I know uh, uh, there was one inning, I think Matt Skoll let off and, and had a 3-2 pitch and swung the ball up around his eyes for strike three. Then I think Leonida went up there and the count was 2-0, and oh, and he swung at a high fastball that would make it count 3-0. and oh. So if your hitters are disciplined and you're sitting in there making him throw it in there, maybe we have two guys on with nobody out. And, you know, the one thing I noticed with Wright last weekend against North Carolina, I think in three-plus innings, he walked five guys. So we talked about that before the game, but it must have gone on deaf ears because we, we swung at everything. Okay, you had a, the, the eighth inning, you, you get a leadoff home run, and then you get a man out on the walk, and the two big sluggers coming up, and he gets in the tap out the first base. And yeah, got jammed on it, you know, and with no count on him, got jammed, hit a ground ball to first base, and then, um, you know, he threw two good breaking balls to Tony. And, you know, got him, got him out very easy, is what it looked like to me. Yeah, we, we thought we had a chance to make a charge right there, and, and uh, but, you know, give him credit. He made, made two good pitches when he needed to. In terms of bigger picture, Danny, how much better is this Tech Virginia Tech team than the team you faced last year and the year before? I, I think one, they've got three excellent starting pitchers, and we didn't see Han in Atlanta. He was when he was kind of hurt. Uh, but uh, you know, Price has beat us. He's beat us two years in a row, and I think he's an excellent pitcher. So I, I think they have three really good starting pitchers. Have a very competitive lineup. They're they're hard to strike out. Uh, you know, they seem to compete real well. Put the ball in play. 
they've got some guys that can hit home runs. You know, Waits just hit a couple home runs against us. And uh, so I think they're a very competitive team. I said it when, when they left Atlanta. I said that's a very good baseball team. And uh, so I, I think they're good. He just talked about making the team more athletic in terms of career. So that's how you've gotten from where they were to where they are. From an outsider's perspective, what's the biggest thing that you, you've seen him do that's made this team so much better than it was? Oh, yeah. I think, hey, yeah, they've probably got better players, for one. Uh, you know, he's made them believe. He's probably changed, uh, changed their mindset a little bit to where they believe they can win. You know, they went on the road at Florida State, won a series. Uh, they beat Miami at home. They beat us. So they've, they've picked off some pretty good uh, teams in some series this year, which, you know, gives your team confidence. So I just think they're good, and, uh, you know, they played good tonight. And uh, good for them, bad for us. You talked about your guys swinging at a lot of bad pitches. Do you think that once you got down by a few runs, maybe you started pressing a little bit, trying too hard? Oh, I thought we were, we were trying really too hard uh, probably the first half of the game. And then I called our team together in the seventh inning and basically told them that, you know, quit, quit trying to, you know, hit a two-run homer. I mean, just get some base hits, see the ball, and compete a little better in their bats. But you know, we, we didn't have the answer. He, Mr. Wright had the answer. Next sixth inning, you hit a guy and walked three guys to force him to run with. Just, it didn't look like you were missing by much, but you just lost a little command. Yeah, I mean, I, just, I lost the feel totally. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say. It was just it was rough. I mean, uh, I tried everything. I tried to stay with the rubber longer. I tried to you know, see the target up. And, uh, Runs, uh, especially late in the ball game, so 